Hi everyone, it's Wallace here with your Monday video. Today I'm talking about kids books. So my son's third birthday is happening. This is his like birthday week-ish. And um, he's gotten a few gifts, one from me and one from a friend of mine that have turned out to be things that he just loves. So I'm gonna share them with you because I think books are fun gifts to give for little kids. And also it can be hard to find the right book, like something that's actually gonna engage them and get them excited about reading. So the first one I'm gonna show you is called Let's Play. And this one was given to my son by one of his friends and his, his the friend's mother is my friend and she comes up with really great ideas for her kids anyway. So it was fun to see what she was gonna give him. But um, this book is about this little circle. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's like about this little circle. So it tells you to do different things with the book. It's really interactive. It's like press the corner to get me started. You press the corner and you turn and then it turn comes up there. Now you press the other corner. I'm not going to redo the whole book. Don't worry. And then it goes down there. And so it gives you instructions through the whole thing and like funny things start happening. And then the kids start wanting to see like what's going to happen on the next page. Cause then all of a sudden it's like, boom. And then you rub it really hard and boom, this happens. And then you go through the tunnel and you have to like creep up the stairs and then where are you gonna go? And it's like the whole thing is kind of like that. It's an interactive book with a story. And I have to tell you that this is the first time when I was watching my son as we were reading it, he had that like air about him of being so engaged in the story and needing to know what happens next. And that was the first time this has happened. Granted, he's three but it was the first time he's happened. He loves books, he loves stories, and he especially, you know, like most children, loves to be read to over and over and over again, so he loves his favorite stories, but this is the first time with a first, like a new story that he was like engaged. He needed to know what was gonna happen next. Like he was really into it, and I kept thinking, like this is it. This is the first book that he's ever known that feeling of, I don't even care what's going on around me. I, I'm so absorbed in this story and I need to know what happens to this character, the little yellow ball. And so I'm in it, like I'm in the story with the ball. Um, I think you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm getting all, I think you understand what I'm talking about by now. But I was so excited about that. Um, and I'm really, really impressed with this book. So this one, and I actually think that this one is a good one. I mean, three is probably a good age, um, two, maybe two and a half, but I would wait maybe until like three to give it as like a birthday present. I don't really think a brand new two year old is going to be as excited about it. And I mean, this could probably go up to like five or six. I don't know if it has age on the back. You'd have to just, you know, know the kid. Um, but I'm very impressed with this book. So if you want to give that feeling to a child of like being so absorbed and needing to know what happens next in the book and like interacting with the book and really diving into the story, there you go. And the next thing is I was at Costco of all places and I went to the book section because I go to the book section everywhere. If it's at Target, if it's CVS, if it's Costco, I go to the book section everywhere. I'm just curious what they're, what they're carrying. And I often walk out with a few books because I can't help myself if I see books <laughs> anywhere. Um, so they had this little set. It came in this box and they had different ones. My son happens to be in love with the Mickey Mouse classic characters. So I grabbed this one and it's $17, um, but they have different ones. So they have different sets of books, obviously. I've said that a million times obviously, now. Um, and this one had, I don't know, like six or seven, eight, I don't know how many that is. And so it also comes with their very first e-reader that looks like this, which he thinks is super fun. And so you match up, they've got the book covers right here, like the pictures of them. And so you match up, you pick out of the stack of books. We've got all of these. You, they find the cover. So it's something that they can do by themselves. They find the cover and then they look for the picture and they press it and that starts that particular book. Then when you open the page, each page has a different color with like a sheaf on top or a symbol. So like this one is a green, green and it has a star. So then the child would find the green picture with the star, they'd press it and it would read the page to them and so on and so forth through the entire book or they could read all of the books and then it just kind of it shuts off on its own um and it's really easy to i mean it's really thin so it's easy to stick in your like diaper bag or your like their backpack or something if you want to the books are all really thin and my my son has been going towards these for 
bedtime books lately instead of having me read them which we still read a ton of books to each other but I think he loves the idea of like because he can't quite read yet he just loves the idea of being kind of in control of what's happening and being the one who's doing the action of you know the reading or whatever um so it gives them a little sense of autonomy and of the feeling of controlling the story a little bit uh and plus it's just fun it's just fun so there's you know a toy with a book is kind of a nice thing and it's not terribly expensive as a gift um and it's a pretty good gift because they're getting all of these stories and this and it's kind of nice for the parents because my son can sit there and do this by himself as well and he's really into following along with it so he can follow along with the story he can like practice his colors and his shapes and his matching and stuff so i just really liked that um i don't know it's called the story reader me reader so i doubt you have to get it on costco at costco i'm sure you can find it other places um so a me reader and i'll put those that in the show notes so that's all for today i just wanted to share these things with you because I love having really good quality gift ideas so that when it's time to give a gift, it's like actually something that I'm excited to give. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you're all having a good week and I'll see you again next Monday. Until then, happy reading.